Y'all got to excuse my face. This is why I stay in the car. So, hey guys, I am currently at my business. Um, I don't talk about it much on my channel just because um, it's a whole nother entity within itself. But that's where the name Mom from Newer came from. Um, I have my own business. It's an education and consulting business. And right now, the group of kids that I teach are MPE. So yeah, and then I have a, a older crew that is um, the older crew that's currently working on the computers right now. I will not show them because I have not gotten permission from their parents to put them on my channel, so I will not do that. Um, but a lot of people have asked me, um, you know, what I do um, in my business. So I'll show you guys. This is the front office. Excuse the decorations. We haven't put our Christmas decor up yet. This is our front foyer area. As a matter of fact, let me turn the camera around so y'all can see. Yeah, so when you first come through, come through these doors here. This is where we're located. Um, this is where the kids are in. Kids are in here in PE. So I won't go through that door yet, but we have our restrooms here. Right here is our after-school tutoring room. So this is where our tutoring and things take place. Each tutor has their own desk, socially distanced. Yeah. It's our little setup here. Little kitchenette break area, storage closet with snacks and things. Our other storage closet, all of our extra supplies and all that good stuff. Yeah. That's that. I'm going to take y'all and show y'all my classroom. Ignore that trash. I got to take it out. Water fountain that we do not use because. It's a whole pandemic out here. Um, it's a little area where Cody sometimes will work from here um, if he wants a break from the house because he's working from home. And through this way is my classroom where I teach my guys. So this is my classroom. And yeah this is where all the magic happens with me uh, this is the middle school classroom and like i said this is our homeschool program yeah 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 excuse the mess in here i had to bring some stuff we got to put away this is our planning room this is where we get all of our stuff together for the kids. The kids who nap, take naps, their nap stuff is in there. But yeah, this is our little spot. Um, bathroom, staff bathroom through here. It's kind of cute, I think it's cute. And then I'll show y'all Cody's little setup back here. This where he be when he be back here. So Carson sits, got his little mat and blanket and everything else. But yeah, it's a little janitorial closet. I don't know a lot of lights on in here. I'll try to briefly show you all the other side. Um, the side that we're eventually going to be on. They're going to add walls to for additional classrooms. But I'm trying not to show the kids. You can see it's a whole bare room. We still got stuff in here. But 
so yeah. I like it. Um, I love it actually. Um, but yeah, just kind of wanted to uh, show y'all briefly what I did because I know a lot of people asked about it. So yeah, um, I'm getting ready to prepare the kids. We just read a book learning about nouns and in the book, the girl was making lemonade. So I just so happen to have lemonade here. So we're gonna make our own lemonade so we can drink it for lunch. Okay, so I'm done setting up and the kids will be in here in just a second. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we're going to learn something new in math. Okay, so you guys already know that when we add we are, are, when we add numbers, are we putting numbers together or taking numbers away? When Wait, we add? we're putting numbers together. You're putting numbers to what? Together. Yeah. You're putting numbers together when you're adding. So, is this adding right here? Yeah. Is that an addition problem? Mm -hmm. Good, it is. What's the answer? Five. Very good. You did that in your brain, girl. Kiss your brain. Yes, girl. Okay, so two plus three equals five. Everybody say easy peasy. Easy peasy. You already know that, right? So today we're going to learn how to add two digit numbers by one digit number. Two digit numbers mean they. So what number are you putting on your head? Mm -hmm. Good. All right. So you put a big 14 down there? No, I put one down there. Not one. Wait, a four down there? Mm-hmm. A four. You can put one up there? Mm-hmm. What you going to do with that one? What are you going to add to it? It's going to be this. So what's the answer? 84. So read that problem. 76 plus... 76 plus uh, 8 mm -hmm. equals 84. All right. We just pulled up at the house and I am exhausted. I'm gonna have one of those moments where I just sit in the car.
because I'm tired and I've had a long day. I just want to rest. I'm definitely going to go take a nap, but um, yeah, it's been, it's been a lot going on. Anyway, CJ went in the house, but um, yeah, I, um, I'm sitting in the car because sometimes I just need a moment to reflect on my day, clear my head before I walk into the house where I'm mom again or wife again. Um, I just came from being teacher and business owner and running running my center to now coming home. And to be honest, I literally like live to I'm in two different worlds. Like when I'm home, you know, I get to be mom, wife, and then of course YouTuber and just you know live my life and then when i go to the office my business i am business owner you know center director um teacher community person i mean i'm i'm doing everything and so i literally feel like i am living two different lives and not in a bad way like a double life or anything but i feel like i'm living two different lives and i'm being pulled in two different directions and while i love them both um i've got to this year i've got to find a full balance of the two because i am exhausted and i know one day i'm gonna look back on this and be like okay yeah I remember that time where I was hustling to get where I wanted to be. But when I tell y'all I am exhausted, I am exhausted. And then this week, we declutter, declutter our entire house, which I'll show y'all when I get in the house. Um, Over the past, like we started at the end of last week and finished it up. And we still have a little bit more in our bedroom to do, which I'll show y'all that if I get finished with it. I might not be... I might not be finished by the time I edit this video. So I'll show y'all another time, but I'll at least be able to show y'all the other parts of the house. But it's exhausting. I'm exhausted. And I just need a moment. I just need a moment. My birthday is coming up on Monday. And I'm going to be 31 years old. And uh, I just need to really settle down. And really focus this year for sure. So, yeah. Woo! Y'all got to excuse my face. This is why I stayed in the car. Came in the house. Trying to get my life together to get something pulled out for dinner. Go in the boys' room. Carson had pulled out all the dirty clothes out of the hamper and mixed it in with clean clothes off the dresser. So irritated because it takes a lot of energy for me to... It takes a lot of energy for me to do the things that I do around the house. And when I feel like it's either A, not appreciated... Or, like, the kids just, I'm just having a moment, y'all. Kids will be kids, and I know that. But it's annoying when you come from working hard, using all your energy to give your 100% your best at work, only to come home and see efforts you put into something being destroyed. I just need a break, y'all. My birthday coming up, and I pray that I can get just that, a nice break to relax and not think about anything. That's all I want. Anyway. I said I was going to show y'all 
the house. So let me begin. I'm currently in my room. My bed's not made. Um, it's not really how I want it to be yet. So it's no point in showing y'all that. But I can't show y'all out here. So yeah, we um got a new sofa because our other sofa was too small. We ordered it from a catalog and we thought it was much bigger than it was and it wasn't. It looks kind of chocolate brown in here, but it's actually gray. It's like a smoke gray, it, but the lighting just, you can't really tell. Let's see if you can kind of, it looks brown. It really does look brown, but it's not. It's actually like a smoke gray color. Um, yeah, so ignore the random blue chair. That's our recliner that my mom bought me when I was pregnant with Carson. And we didn't get rid of it, so it's just not matching any any other things in here. But yeah, um, and then we got this table also because once again we had a table that really wasn't suiting us as a family. So um, I really do like this table a lot. Actually, I ordered some um, chair covers for this because. I know that's that can get dirty very easily. So, um, we did some decluttering around the house in general. So, see, we got a few dishes to wash, but got rid of all the stuff that was on the countertop, just all the extra unnecessary stuff, um, and like organize the cabinets and stuff like that. So, just making things look neater and more put together. Um, we did the same thing in the pantry. Which our pantry looks really empty now because <laughs> we threw away so much stuff. But, um, yeah. I actually need to go get snacks and stuff for the boys. I'm on a reset diet right now. Reset challenge. Resetting my body from being um, used to all the sugars and carbs. So... There's really not a lot of snacks in there for real. Um, and then I'll briefly show y'all. I'm not gonna put it on there, but this is um, Cody's office area. He's currently at work. I can't show him right now, but um, yeah. This is where he does his editing and everything. So this is where I filmed my live the other day as well too. So this is this little area right here. So yeah, we really have worked hard on decluttering. So, my little bookshelf right there. Yeah. Cody is currently at his desk. I can't show his screen, but did you want to say hi? Hey, everyone. I made Carson lay down, take a nap. Let's see if he's actually doing what I told him to do. Oh, yeah. He knocked out. That's mama sweet baby. Even though he made me mad. Oh, he made me so mad, y'all. But he knocked out now. I wish I could sleep that good. Anyway, this is the boys' room. I don't think I've ever showed y'all their room. Yes, they have a whole trampoline and basketball thing in their room. And they love getting a whole bunch of blankets and piling it up there and making forts. So that's that little situation. This is the area where we recently just decluttered where each um, section has a representation of toys and they know which ones goes where and it just helps them keep the room very clean. And this is their little kitchen. See Carson has, has drawn all over my walls. 
So I don't have the kitchen toys at the kitchen. It's over here because if not, the toys will be all over the place. Excuse the crumbs and stains on the carpet. I have children who sneak food in their bedrooms. So that's that. People often ask me, what is it like to be a YouTuber and run a business, an educational business at the same time? And I would tell them, you have to be a fighter to do this. And I'm not talking about, you know, somebody that throws the occasional jab. I'm talking about somebody that's going to get in the ring and fight. So, yeah. I am. I want y'all to be praying for me because your girl is tired, if you can't tell. I'm tired. So, just kind of want to give you guys a peek into how it is for me. Uh, how I do it. And, um, yeah. I've got something out for dinner. I am going to edit at least I mean Cody does all of my like major editing, but sometimes I try to do some simple stuff to kind of help him out. So I'm gonna edit and I'm gonna take a nap and get up and cook dinner. So I'll see you guys. Love you guys. Out.